This week, a raging customer entered an Apple store in France and began smashing as many iPhones as he possibly could with a bocce ball. After doing so, he exclaimed that Apple failed to reimburse him for an unknown reason and then stated, you know what's happening, this is happening, in response to Apple. Google just quietly announced their next event, which will take place on October 4th. The video containing the news hints towards the next Google smartphone or smartphones, these being the Pixel and Pixel XL, rumored to be manufactured by HTC. Speaking of HTC, the company dropped the price of the HTC 10 by $150 today for quote, limited time. If you've been itching to purchase one, I recommend you do that sooner than later, as the phone is now $549 unlocked versus $699 unlocked. The next-gen MacBook Pros could possibly be powered by AMD Zen APUs. Apple may opt out of Intel processors and products that require integrated graphics if Intel doesn't step up their game, so to speak. Speaking of processors and Macs, Apple may begin to put some of their own homegrown chips into their upcoming computers. ARM chips have proven to be powerful and power efficient, which may benefit something such as the next generation MacBook. The former head of the Macintosh department stated that, quote, if we follow this line of reasoning, the advantages of ARM-based processors versus x86 devices become even more compelling. Lower cost, better power dissipation, and natural integration with the rest of the machine. This may also enable Apple to refresh their Mac lineup annually. Stay tuned every Saturday for more weekly tech news in 99 seconds.